We are actually back. With another game. Gonna see CSU on the blue team. Egg here, getting it out of the corner, and cleared. And college here still playing a bit better than they were the last grouping. We are seeing different players here, a different league. An egg going for a demolition. We got some aerial play here. And that would have been a nice setup, but they just got it, bumped it just right out of there. We are gonna see CSU go for a fake. Sippy Cub here, waiting for his teammates to try to send up the ball. Getting in just in time to reset to the defense positions. Super Cup here getting some aerial dribbles here. Getting it back to the opposing field. Nice! And Sippy Cup confirming that score by Carnes. Actually, it seems like this is actually Cornell. My uh, information from the stream title was wrong, so I apologize for that, folks. This is actually Cornell versus CSU. We are seeing Cornell play a bit differently than they were before they got scored on. We're still going to see a lot of good aerial play here. CP Cup. Trying to go for an aerial dribble. They're resetting back off the backboard. Centering the ball for the opponent, but it seems like the opponent wasn't ready for that. It was a good positioning and read by CSU. They're going to be able to get it back center field. Try to get the ball centered and downwards. Egg trying to get that spike in there. And Carson getting the score there. Good group play. Sippy Cup getting it back off the backboard right into Carson's hands and just having him, just handing it to him, handing that score to him. What a good play. What some good teamwork and communication. Cornell's going to have a hard time getting a score back on these guys, especially if they started playing more defensively here. But why would they switch their tactics if playing the way that they are is just working? Egg getting it off the wall, trying to get an air dribble in there. Carson possibly attempting to get anything, but seems like Sippy Cup might be trying to get the center ball. Egg clearing it back into the corner. And Carson getting a really nice play here. Sippy Cup clearing it, possibly. We're seeing the opponent's Play a bit hard on the defense there. And this person's skin is uh, a little confusing. All of them playing with the, the purple, the crystal uh, skin coloring. Kind of confusing everything with the, uh, the blue and the orange. Ornell seems to have that strategy going, but it seems like Egg is going to get a nice score in. The goal being completely empty there. No one to defend. 
Cornell coming in last second to try to get that defense, save the ball, but it seems like it wasn't enough. We're going to see a nice neutral entrance there. The ball. First taps here. CSU's got it in the corner, but they're going to, Cornell's going to be able to clear the ball. Eggs waiting for it in the corner. Try to clear it immediately. Cornell's getting it straight to the goal, centered, and then back into the corner. Good defense by CSU, and they're going for some airplay. Good attempt by Flux from Cornell. We're going to see Carson getting the ball cleared for a second there, but Cornell was prepared to meet to uh, to meet that quest. Sippy Cup going a bit far out into the field, seeing if he can pick off some defensive plays. Egg getting it back to the ground. And that grounding play is actually going to lead it to things keeping everything together. Our green team being the higher MMR at CSU. Featuring uh, Egg Dip as our king team captain. Seems to have a really solid play. Might be leading the communication efforts here on the team, which is keeping them tight ship. Sippy Cup being our major scorer here. And Carson being the defensive expert that he is. Watching a lot of those offensive plays that he pulled off as well. We do have a grand champion on the opposing team at Cornell uh, from seasons back. Going to see what might change here going into game two. CSU did take game one there. Let's see what happens here in game two. And for some reason, uh, we're seeing numbers instead of nameplates. Okay, nameplates are kind of back. Might be a lag issue or something with that. Let me go ahead and see if I can fix that. Sippy Cup hailing from Philadelphia. New player to this team, I'm pretty sure. Arson coming just outside of the Los Angeles, California area. Both of these players are very talented. Let's see why they were scouted by CSU. They're playing very well this game, too. You see a very nice, exciting goal there. Good teamwork by both teams. It seems like CSU's just got a slight edge over Cornell here. Cornell's going to immediately go for a dribble and flick straight into the goal. Good thing Sippy Cup was sitting right there waiting for it. You see Flux here try to get the ball centered out of the corner there. I see Sippy Cup center the ball and go for a shot attempt. Cornell just comes in on the defense, though, and gets it clear just in time. We're going to see some defensive plays from both teams here to try to keep control over the ball. Sippy Cup going in for another air dribble there. Carson getting a quick little jab at it. Cornell getting the ball. The opponent's field finally. Miss attempt by Carson, but we still got ball to the other side from what it seems. Seems like they're going to reset here. Sippy Cup moves in. Eggs taking the defensive maneuvers immediately. Carson clearing the ball from their field, getting control back into the corner. Will Sippy Cup be able to center the ball into the field? Seems like Carson's got it measured. Egg chasing the ball here, trying to get it centered again. I'm going to see Sippy Cup get it centered. Try to make a shot attempt there, but not quite getting it. 
Good defense to center the ball back and together. And we get Egg finishing the touch there. That was a good play by CSU. A lot of teamwork and conjuncture there with, the, with Cornell flying around the field trying to salvage their defenses as best they could. But CSU just took the cake from them. I see Sippy Cup go straight for the attack right off the bat. Right off the backboard, getting the ball centered right away. Not going to be quite enough. Cornell's going to be tight on their defense this time around. They were prepared for it. We're going to see them clear the ball back to the field, but Carson's got it. We're going to see some plays going on here. It's going to be back off. Nope. Cornell just intercepted it just in time here. But Sippy Cup's got it centered. And we got some double contact there. That really should have been Egg's goal there, but Sippy Cup just stole it just by existing in the goal. Really good centering play by Sippy Cup there to give Egg a nice setup to score. Honestly, Sippy Cup deserves that praise. <laughs> We're going to see a bit of play here. Oh, and Carson's going straight for the demolitions, being super aggressive here. They got it centered. Almost a score. Will they be able to salvage it? Yep, and Cornell can actually get the ball out of there just in time. They got it back to the opposing field, but CSU is just that much better at keeping control of the ball. They're going back to that rotation strategy we were talking about in the last matches. CSU's always tight on that communication, keeping things nice and going with their rotation strategies, making sure that things stay rotated. Keep that boost up, which the NMA team seems to be doing pretty solid work at too, but you will see occasionally they'll be running low on boost, like Sippy Cup is right here, but he's going to be hitting those pads, trying to get that boost back up. And Egg's about to get it back out of this corner, but nope. Take girl Sunshine getting it back out of that corner. Resetting it for their team. Sippy Cup demolitioning. CSU really does not want to stop relenting on this. They don't want to switch to a defensive strategy here. They just want to keep going with what's been working. And Cornell's getting a fair bit of play here. But it's not going to be enough. This is just a full wipe from what it seems. Carson's getting a bit of air dribble. Just barely missing it, though. If he had control of that, that could have been devastating for Cornell. Possibly another goal for CSU. Good interception there in the air. Don't know who that was. I'm assuming it was probably either Sippy Cup or A, considering we were watching Carson there. Um, and Sippy Cup's back in the corner trying to clear the ball from their field. Looks like that's going to happen. We're going to get a center field right away, but Flux is going to get it back into the corner and try to clear the ball there. Girl Sunshine just getting it on the ground just in time. Seems like a good game. That was match two. CSU's two to zero, taking the lead. Will Cornell be able to make a comeback in the next three games, or will this go in CSU's favor? Speaking of the players here. They've been playing pretty well from what it seems. All their shots are not quite balanced, but if you look over back through the match, you can see just how defensive and uh, how their movement was kind of oriented around each other, kind of like a merry-go-round in a sense, a nice little carousel action going with uh, CSU's team keeping things together, making sure that they all have their opportunity to be on defense and offense, respectively. Um, and that communication circle is, is important when it comes to this game, being able to see on the field and communicate with your players where the ball is going in a way that they might be, not be able to see. Because uh, pro players don't play with ball cam, unlike me. That's why I suck at this game. But our pro players here at CSU would definitely be rocking this game like nobody else. 
We'll see if CSU's ever even the feed of this match. And wow. CSU's giving pity to Cornell here. Just letting them have that goal. But it's not going to stop anything here. As the uh, song entails, Rick Astley never going to give you up. I don't think CSU is ready to give up just yet. And neither is Cornell. They're going to play this to the very end. It's very apparent right now that they intend to try to make that comeback. Sippy Cup going for some aerial plays here. Egg getting a shot on goal, but not quite the angle that he was hoping for. And off the backboard, Sippy Cup's got it. And a double tap there back into the corner. Which is actually going to play into CSU's favor here. As nobody was ready on Cornell's side to take that interception. We're going to see Carson here. A wasn't quite ready for that goal there. Good attempted play here. But Cornell being a bit tighter on the defense, keeping things together. And watch them always out of boost. You can see how Cornell just doesn't manage their boost just as well as CSU's team does. And that's what really makes the difference between teams here. Not necessarily skill level, but resource management. Which, as I say that, it switches to egg with zero boost. Thanks for proving my point. <laughs> but regardless, we are going to see them not try to reset for boost, which seems to be something that they're going to have to improve on in the future if they're going to want to come back and, and beat CSU in another season, or another bracket, even. Uh, girl Sunshine actually getting boost from what it seems. Probably the only person on their team that's uh, able to keep up with the boost patterns of this field. And Cornell going for a demolition on our own egg. But that gives egg a good time to reset, get back into the fence position just in case. And a nice score as soon as egg comes back. A good read from egg from across the field just comes zooming in. Cornell not quite reacting fast enough to get into the air to intercept that shot. It's going to be another point for CSU, bringing the game to one to one. Arson's taking the ball right into their corner. Sippy Cup getting it cleared right off the bat. We're going to see a nice play there by Cornell, keeping the ball over the net so they can't make a play. Going to get reset back over. Egg passing it over to uh, Sippy Cup there, which is quite a good idea. We're going to see a whole lot of play here. Back and forth. A sense here. Nobody's really got good control over the ball. It's going to keep going back and forth between both sides. As both sides really are playing a defensive game here to try to catch a slip up. And it seems like Cornell's got a slip in their defense there, giving Carson a, a time to take a shot on goal. Same thing with Sippy Cup, and it seems like it's Egg's turn now to take a shot on goal. Nope, not quite, but he is going to be able to center it here from what it looks like. He does get it centered, but Flux is able to turn it back around, get that ball cleared. Sippy Cup's good on the defense there, getting a bump off. Not quite the angle he was hoping for, but Egg is able to get it back over before anybody from Cornell's team could get their hold on it. We're going to see them tighten up defenses there. Prepared to intercept that ball. That good 50-50 touch there. But they're able to get it. And Sippy Cup's just there. But not quite enough. We're going to see Carson getting back on that ball. Getting some air dribbles in. We'll be able to get the ball just in time. An egg going for a shot there. That was three shots on goal there. And none of them quite seemed to stuck just good enough is just fine because it seems like they're going to be rotating back to defense anyways to catch back up on that boost. It's going to allow them to reset and get things back centered. Seems like Sippy Cup might be able to go for a shot here. Flux actually messing up their team. That would have been in if, if Flux hadn't made a touch there. Flux trying to redeem himself with a shot on goal there. 
it's not quite enough with CSU's tight defenses that they've been able to reset. Slow ball here. So if you could be able to get an air dribble in. Not quite next, but a really nice shot by Sippy Cup. We are seeing a really, really good play here. Flux just going for it. Sippy Cup faking him out and just getting it around. Sunshine coming in from Cornell's side just to try to save it, but not quite getting the bump that they needed to get it out of goal. We're going to see another reset here. And it seems to be in CSU's favor right off the bat, but Flux is going to come in and get it reset. Good communication by CSU here. We're going to see a little bit of play here. Carson's going to try to get it centered, but nobody was ready to take that ball. Egg is getting it down to the air. Centered just for Carson to come back around with the 180 and score again. CSU getting two scores in the last minute of the game. Quite exciting plays here that we're seeing. CSU's definitely taking it to go. Will they be able to hit the ball just in time? It's probably going to touch the ground here. Not quite. Okay. And that seems to be game three going in CSU's favor. It's three to zero for Cornell versus CSU. CSU taking the cake and eating it too. I have been Zandit on the microphone commentating this match for y'all. Hope y'all have a good evening. Maybe tune in for another match later today. And I will catch y'all around. See ya.